I was honing in on your energy, Sag, and I feel like there is somebody coming back. <laughs> but I feel like I was feeling very um, emotional, sensitive, um, heartfelt, like mm. someone's coming back in a very soft, sensitive way. Um, I was hearing that song by Saigon Kick, Love Is On The Way. Look up the lyrics for that. It is like a deep song. It's from like early 90s. <laughs> um, and I feel like this person like wants to be with you and like the clock time stops like when you're together. Um, like I just want to be here with you forever. I just want this moment back. I just want, you know, I feel like that's how this person is looking at this, coming back towards you. Uh, I just feel like it's a soft, sensitive energy. Uh, your overall energy here is milk and honey. So this could be a wish come true for you or something that makes you very happy. Um, yeah, there's that soft Sec, like sensitive sexual energy like romance loving caring nurturing compromising compassionate that energy is going on all right let's see what's going on for your person overall energy for Sagittarius's person what is going on exchanging gifts they could look at you like you are a gift like you have many gifts you are a gift or they could be coming towards you and giving you some kind of a gift, all right? Deep knowing. They know this. They know. They they want this. They want this. Blessed, treasure island, poised, co-create. They want a new beginning. They want a new beginning, working as a team with you, doing things together with you, for you. Um poised. They hold you in high regard, Sag. They hold you in high regard. They put you on a pedestal. They may make you feel really good. All right. Um, Treasure Island. They see your value, your worth. They might be coming towards you a little slow, or you guys may want to just take things slow. Um, but it is blessed. This is blessed. I feel like you'll have a new peaceful beginning here with this person. Ooh, you guys might be like, oh, no, mm -mm. nope, I don't go back to the past. But I don't know. I'm feeling a very romantic, loving, caring energy coming through from this. But let's get into it and see. All right, current energies for your person, Sagittarius. Current energies for your person, <laughs> yeah soulmate energy equal exchange of love i feel like you're oh my gosh wow they're gonna fight for this your person is going to fight for this look at ace of cups for some of you there could be an age difference doesn't have to be i feel like this person is gonna come towards you um with emotions, offering emotions, or even an apology, if, if that's needed. Um, I feel like they are going to fight for this. You are their wish come true. They are bossing up like the emperor, male or female, doesn't matter. There's no gender in tarot. Aries energy, Aquarius energy, um, you're their wish come true. And I feel like this person, they could be successful. They could be a business owner, CEO, boss, entrepreneur, something like that. They could be, uh, like they could have children. They could be a provider. I feel a very strong, stable energy coming from this person. Um, they could possibly even be financially good. I feel like they're, they're go-getters. When they know they want something, they go after it. And I feel like this person knows that they want you. You are their wish come true. <laughs> They want this. You're their soulmate. They feel that. They have a deep knowing here. All right, let's see. What was blocking this connection? What was blocking this connection? Blockages, blockages. Blockages, blockages. Hmm. 
Eight of Pentacles, work, effort. Maybe you guys met at work, worked together, um, or this person was wrapped up in work, career. Um, Page of Swords. Again, there could be an age difference. Um, if not, I feel like maybe at the time, like it was the wrong time when you guys were together before, um, and now somebody kind of like learned a lesson or realized something here. Or maybe there were like messages going back and forth. Um, I feel like someone like almost had like an epiphany here or a realization. All right, King of Wands, uh, Leo, Aries, Sag, this could be you. You could have been blocking this. Could be another fire sign. Maybe you weren't ready for a commitment. They were or vice versa. Maybe you just wanted to kind of stay single, have fun, be adventurous, spontaneous, and do your own thing at that time. And it didn't work out. All right. Um, what else? Blockages. Yeah, someone was conflicted. Someone had inner conflict going on. There could have been a little arguments, disputes. Um, some of you, someone could have been a little bit of a player, whether that was you or them, or like to go out, have fun, party. There could have been distance for some of you. Travel, distance, something with a car maybe. Um... For some, I'm not even, this is not all of you. I'm not even feeling it for all of you. Just some of you, there could have been a third party situation. All right. I feel like it could have been another fire sign that could have gotten in the way. And this person chose wrong. They made a bad choice, bad judgment call. But they're having a, an awakening right now, an epiphany. Maybe they couldn't make up their mind before or you couldn't make up your mind before. I feel like there was some kind of indecision going on. Someone may not have known enough or had enough knowledge of what all of this was, you know, like not awakened at the time. Uh, but let's see, how does this person truly feel about you? How do they truly feel about you? How do they truly feel about you, Sagittarius? Keep in mind, this is their perspective. It doesn't necessarily have to be the truth, but it's their truth. Uh, well, they feel abandoned or left out in the cold or strung along or that they abandoned you. All right. Um, I feel like there could have been victory and success here, or they really do still like hold you in high regard, see that you are very attractive or fun, flirty, outgoing, and you get a lot of attention or praise. Um, they might see that you have options or confusion, possibly between an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo that you need to make a decision between. So if you're dealing with, let's just say this person, I'm just going to use this as an example. This person's an earth sign. Maybe you need to walk away from an air sign. There's some confusion going on there. Or you could have like just met somebody and you're like, really, now you're coming back? I finally just met somebody. Oof. They want next level with you. This is the 1111 twin flame soulmate. Make a wish. Wish is coming true. Leveling up in a connection. Something to do with house and home or a reason to celebrate. Oh, Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Yeah, this person wants forever with you. They want forever with you. They could have been stuck in something. They could have been stuck in like a family situation or another commitment or marriage or you, one of you could have been a higher level of commitment stuck with somebody else. If that's the case, expect a change. This person's going to communicate. Look, they want a new beginning. They're going to, they're going to be the fool and take a leap of faith or you are. 
There's going to be communication coming in. There is passion, chemistry, attraction, sexual desire, ideas, intuition, downloads. There, there's so much going on here, but it's a lot of it's positive. It's positive. There's a lot of attraction here. And not just on like a, yes, on a sexual level, but there's attraction with other things too. With you and how your goals, your desires, your strengths, things that you want, like they, your loyalty, your passions, your adventurous side, your spontaneous side, your go-getter side. They like that. They value all of that about you. Let's see, what's the potential outcome here? Potential outcome. Keep in mind, you both have free will. You can both change your mind, so this could change, all right? Free will. Um, and also, I'm not here to tell you what to do, so use your own discernment, all right? All right, let's see. Potential outcome. Strength, Leo energy, the devil, Capricorn energy. So strength, courage. Wow. All right. This person could be in the process of working up some kind of courage to come towards you. They feel this strong bond. They feel chained to your energy almost. Um, for some of you, you guys may have not even lost contact or you've been con like talking in the 5D during your dream states. All right, or telepathically sending each other messages, emotions, or feelings, or songs, or anything like that. All right, I feel like there's something going on here with that. But your person, I feel like they're trying to come up with the strength and courage. They're trying to gain some kind of clarity or a different perspective on how to approach you, how to come towards you how to be understanding about everything, how to say the right things and not, you know, kick themselves in the ass by saying something stupid. Um, they want to plant seeds with you. Seven of Pentacles. They want to plant the seeds with you. They want to water, nurture, love, and care for them and grow them into something. They may feel like when they approach you, though, that you're going to be standing back like this, like, now you're coming towards me or why did you do what you did in the past or you know what I mean I feel like you're going to be kind of like a little bit closed off towards this person or a little bit not fully happy um until a conversation takes place because if you see what I'm holding in my hand right now we have three of pentacles nine of cups ten of cups the sun what King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, could be in our sign. It doesn't have to be. It could be anybody, you guys. But wow, 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 wow. This Three of Pentacles is taking thoughts, visions, dreams, goals, desires, ideas, all of that from the 5D and bringing it into the 3D and making it a reality. Working together, being on the same page, building something together, collaborating as a team, understanding each other's wants and needs. All right. Nine of Cups, a wish fulfillment to the Ten of Cups. Complete emotional fulfillment here all the way to the end. And the Sun, the happiest card in the deck. I feel like this is going to... Maybe come as a surprise to you, but you have milk and honey, which is also like the sun almost. It's happy. It's gold at the end of the rainbow. It's luck. It's sweet. And then the yin, loving, caring, nurturing, compassionate, understanding energy. I feel like this person is coming back and they're going to love you like maybe you've never loved, been loved before, never felt loved before. Um, I feel like it's, it's very strong. If I could tell you the energy that I was feeling and still am with this, it's very sentimental, emotional, heartfelt, romantic, and it's like intense, but like 
like I almost want to cry like I'm so happy for you like I'm getting chills over this for you you know what I mean like I did I just got chills like my eyes want to tear up like I feel like it's it's beautiful whatever this person did in the past sometimes the past is the past and I know some people argue like soulmates would never do that to you well yes they will uh it's called karma <laughs> and it's a karmic debt that needs to be paid and a lesson needs to be learned and there's so many different angles towards that so I that's debunked all right <laughs> um we're all here for an experience you know whatever that means it could be pain it could be hurt it could be a lesson it could be whatever it's all of them anyway all right biggest obstacle you're gonna have to overcome in this Sagittarius biggest obstacle biggest obstacle completion completion this person is your missing puzzle piece and healing. Wow. And healing. Oh, this just kind of flopped out, so I'm not taking all that. Yep, completion. This person is your freaking missing puzzle piece. And this is going to be healing. This is going to be healing. All right, uh, let's see. What other messages do we have for Sag? What do we got? Release. Loosen your hold. Relax. Unwind. Release. Fear, anxiety, and doubt. Release fear, anxiety, and doubt. All right, let's see. What else? Chaser. This person could be chasing you. <laughs> Summer. It's time to see the sunny side. The happiness, the potential that's here for this happiness. Maybe you guys met in the summer or like the beach or something like that. Surrender. Detach, trust, free fall, have faith, all will be well in fear. Darkness, hesitation, insecurity, know that you are protected. Yeah, you are. You're fearing this a little bit. Because this person may have hurt you in the past or disappointed you or let you down. I feel like you do have some kind of fear when it comes to this person. This is blessed. This is divine timing. This is something that is supposed to happen for you. All right. We have balance, yin and yang, darkness and light. Stay centered in your higher self. I feel like you and this person actually balance each other out. You could be complete opposites, you know, that just is like perfect for each other. That yin and yang, you fit together, <laughs> right? Um, you have what they lack and they have what you lack. And it just, it's like the perfect match. All right. Uh, let's see. What else do I have for Sagittarius? What else do I have, Sagittarius? Sagittarius. What do we got for Sagittarius? Okay. Boat. Receiving what you need. Progression. Arriving. Moving on from closure issues. All right. So the boat. Receiving what you need. Things are going to start coming towards you. All right. Hand of cards. Take a chance. Risk. Be strategic. Options. Not showing hand and gambling. So you may have your walls up when this person comes along or they might um, because it's don't know how to, you know, maneuver through this. Do I say this? Do I, is it the wrong thing? Is it the right thing? I feel like you're, you might be like holding back on some stuff, not wearing your heart on your sleeve or not coming out and being like, yes, I'm so excited. You're back. You're going to kind of like be a little, like I said, in that seven of pentacles, like standing back, like really now you're coming back now, you know, a uh, healing heart. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Somebody could have been breaking away from that or was in that and it's no longer. All right. I feel like that's that's coming to an end. Wow. Cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Look at this. Engagement ring and wedding ring. This is going to level up. This is going to level up and I don't think you're going to see it coming. The sunglasses. I don't think you're going to see it coming. Sag. Mm -mm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Soul connection. Eternal love. Everlasting promise. Wow. Wow. 